What's going on, you guys? Today we are taking a look at Construct Bots, the double header. Today we're taking a look at Construct Bots, the Optimus Prime and Megatron pack. This is a two pack that I picked up at BigBadToyStore.com, and this thing retails for about 35 bucks. It is in this nice one combined set. It is real thin though. I mean, we're talking really thin, so maybe just about an inch and a half thick. And then the back of the box is really hard to get on camera. <laughs> so uh, just to give you guys a quick look at the box, this is what we're looking at. So let's go ahead, open them up and take a look. Getting them out of the cardboard packaging, what we actually have are two different tubs, an Autobot tub and a Decepticon tub. And each tub just opens really easily and has a bunch of little baggies with all the parts, the directions, this code thingy, not sure what it's for. And then each set has its own little head and insignia and wheel, okay. And that's for the Autobot side. Then for the Decepticon side, it's pretty much the same thing. As you could see, Megatron head, insignia, and then the same pieces in different colors. So, let's go ahead and take a look at Prime first. What I've done here is I've sped up the recorded footage by a factor of eight. That way you're not sitting here for eight minutes watching me assemble this thing. It really took about ten minutes, but I did do some editing. It starts off with building the legs and then just building the skeleton of the legs first, and then adding all of the armor and then building the chest. And the chest is actually one giant piece, or I should say the torso, the chest and the back are two separate pieces, which you'll see as we're assembling. Overall, the assembly is incredibly easy, and it's a lot of fun, actually. It's not nearly as complex as, say, a Creo, but it's got that simplicity that makes it really enjoyable. So, guys, seriously, this is a super easy build. Anyone can do it, but it's a whole heck of a lot of fun. And to be honest, with what you end up with, it's pretty darn good looking to boot. I will be the first to admit, I am really actually pretty impressed with this robot mode. It's not perfect. The kibbly bits we've got hanging off the forearms here are rather annoying, but overall, this is a solid robot mode and an interesting take on Prime. It works a lot better to me than, say, one of the Creos, and it just seems more cohesive, and it's definitely more poseable. Now, let's see, we got uh, ball joints everywhere, and the ball joints are really interesting. They're kind of like a combination of uh, polycap joints from Gundam and just your standard ball joints. They are held together by friction, but it works really well because it's a very tacky kind of plastic, the actual black ball joints are. Posability, as I said, is really good. Head, ball joint, shoulder, ball joint, hinge joint at the, at the uh, elbow, hinge at the wrist, and then inside the hand is a ball joint, ball joint in the hip, hinge at the knee, ball joint in the foot. So you could get some really good poses. And overall, the robot mode is a solid robot mode. Compared to my often used MP10 Prime, he's not too shabby. He's actually about the same size as a small, smallish Voyager class figure. And the head sculpt is really nice. I'm quite taken aback. I was not expecting this guy to be as cool as he is. But not only that, he comes with a crap ton of weapons. I can't get over this. I mean, there are so many guns and swords here. These are just a few of his weapons. I mean, we've got two giant black swords, two green gun cannons, this giant cannon up here on the shoulder. Then he comes with this missile launcher. And he also comes with these two gold I guess they are, uh, I guess they're for punching dudes in the face. And then he comes with these green blade things that are nasty looking. And then he comes with something even cooler. Prime comes with not one, not two, but three 
different Energon blades. You have his Energon battle axe, his Energon rapier sword thingy, and then this Energon split sword. I mean, Prime is a walking death machine, practically. I mean, the sheer number of bladed weapons, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different bladed weapons, and four different guns. Good God! And because I absolutely had to try, yes, you can fit all of his, all of his weapons on him all at once. And these aren't really weapons, they're more like just jet thrusters that I think are used in vehicle mode, but the directions don't say so. But anyway, I was able to fit them on him as well. Though you will have to be aware that this does create a little bit of top heaviness. It's still frickin' rad though. What wait, what the Bring it, Kaiju! Oh, screw this. I'm going home. I, I don't get paid enough for this. Jeez, come on, Del Toro. And guns? Nobody said anything about guns. For his last trick, Construct Bot's Optimus Prime transforms. And I'm not talking about, like, the transformation we get with Creos. No. There's no disassembly required here. This figure fully transforms into his own vehicle mode, without having to remove a single part. That is freaking awesome. So let's get into it. First, take the chest, and this is actually the hardest part of the transformation. Grab the chest and kind of pull it open and flip the head up inside the chest cavity. And then close this up. Take the backpack, fold that up and over the front of the chest. And sometimes you've really got to push the chest down in order for this to work correctly. There we go. Then take the legs and unhinge them, or unpeg them, and swing them around 360, and then bring, fold them forward at the hips. And then the bottom, this top part, will actually peg into this section here. So peg those into place. And I have a tendency to pop the wheels off at this point, just because I suck. And there we go. And then push the wheels back on. And then we can turn the feet in to connect to form the bumper. Then take the arms and there are these pegs, they, these pegs right here at the forearms. They will peg into the ports up at the thighs or what were the thighs. So slide those down, peg them in, then take the fists, fold them in and flip them up, fold them into the body and then flip them up. And then these blue pieces will swing up and the whole rear section will come and connect. And then we could flip these red pieces around to form the rear bumpers. And here we have a fully formed, fully realized alternate mode for ConstructBot's Optimus Prime. I will be the first to admit I am thoroughly pleasantly surprised at this development. Since I'm looking at Prime first, I'm pretty sure that Megatron is going to transform similarly. But I, I'm ecstatic that Hasbro has made construction-based toys that transform on their own with no part swapping involved. And this looks pretty good. It's not perfect by any means, but it's close enough. We've got transforming Bionicle Transformers here. I mean, I'm ecstatic about this. And before anybody asks, yes, you can fit just about every single weapon on him in vehicle mode. Still very cool. Megatron in robot mode is pretty cool, and I love the red and black and silver aesthetic. Plus, he just looks dangerous. My only complaint, though, is his head sculpt, which I'll show you up close and personal in a second. He has the exact same posability as Prime, same exact joints. He's pretty much the same figure, save for color and a few little uh, accoutrements here and there. His cannon is stored on the back, but it can be detached. You can just wiggle it off like that and you can mount it somewhere else though um it's gonna be kind of hard to put it on his arm unless you unpeg one of these wheels i prefer to just leave his cannon on his uh, back but pointing down as a point as opposed to pointing up it just looks silly point being pointed up though overall i think he looks cool
except for that cannon. Okay, that cannon still looks silly. And speaking of silly, I do not care for this head sculpt. Nothing personal, Megatron, but grinning Megatron is not my idea of a good Megatron. It just... Uh, Megatron smiling at that like that is never good. So a little bit of a fix that I applied to the figure that makes me like him a little more is taking those wheels that are on his forearms and moving them to his back. And oops, it looks like I dropped a piece of the wheel. But I like the fact that you can move them to the back to improve the robot mode. Now this will affect the overall transformation, but I'll put them back when I do that. But this frees up his arm to carry the cannon as opposed to just sticking it on his back and looking really weird. Like Optimus, Megatron comes with a sheer armory worth of weapons. He has three Energon weapons, two of which are guns, and one is this nice triple spiked mace. He also comes with these missiles that are right here on his hips that I've placed, and these guns. He also comes with several other things. He comes with these pieces that I have no idea what they're for. He comes with extra struts. He comes with thrusters. And then he comes with wings, which I believe there is supposed to be another set of modes that you could make out of him, or like a flying vehicle mode for him. I could see that. But he comes with these extra wings as well. And unfortunately, he doesn't come with anything else. I would like to see him come with more weapons, but oh well. So let's go ahead and get into his transformation. The first part of this transformation is exactly like Prime. Open up the chest, fold up the head, get that in there. Close up the chest, then take the back part, unhinge it, and flip it all the way around like that. And then take the entire uh, robot mode and unpeg the, the hips and fold him down like that. And yes, we have a walking girl walk tank thingy right now. Spin the legs around 360, thusly. And then we are going to take them and fold them up straight along the back like we did with Prime, but kind of in the opposite direction. So flip them up and peg them in just like we did for Prime. And then exactly like Prime before, we will fold the arms down, pegging them into the thighs like that, lifting up the fists and folding them in, and then flipping around the front of the wheels like so. And here we have Megatron's Mega Tank Mode. Remember those weird gray bits that I was talking about that I had no idea what they did? Well, they actually plug into the sides here or the inside part of the wheels. I completely missed that in the instructions initially. Overall, the mega four-wheel tank mode is... it's okay. It's not great. I think Prime's alt mode is much better, but I do respect Megatron's alt mode here. As you can see, we have both vehicle modes here, and they are roughly the same size. And I do greatly appreciate the fact that they do transform on their own. I love that. And I really do dig this set so far. Both alt modes are fun and pretty easy to get in and out of robot mode. Just a lot of fun these guys have turned out to be. Now with a bit of fiddling, I have come up with a flight mode for Megatron that incorporates his cannon. What I did was I removed, well first I removed the wheels, and then I added a little, uh, one, of th one of these guys that I didn't know what they were for. I added that to the very front of the vehicle and attached the cannon to it. And then I added the guns on the side and put the uh, thrusters here, which I have one of them backwards, thrusters here up top, and then added the wings on the bottom. Is it a perfect plane mode? Mm, no, I will be the first to tell you it's not perfect. But it's what I could come up with quickly. Now what I think is you're supposed to do and looking at it, I think you're supposed to take this piece, connect it to the bit here, and then somehow peg in or move this piece around such that you can get this guy closer to the front of the plane. Maybe. I thought maybe another thing was you could, I don't know, attach these guys to the side like that and peg them into like the backs of the feet. And I tried that and that really didn't work. But that doesn't look too shabby. That actually looks better. I, I kind of dig that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little more, um, shall we say, avant-garde jet than uh, his tank mode is or his uh, four-wheeled tank mode. But yeah, you could definitely get a jet mode out of this. 
Structurally, Prime and Megatron are identical. I mean, you have the same basic skeleton happening here with both figures, but it's the accessories and the little things that make them completely different. You know, they have pretty much the same transformation, but Megatron has a lot of more pointy bits and a lot of more uh, weaponry gun-wise, while Prime has more rounded and gentler cornered bits. And, well, let's face it, he is loaded with, with guns and swords. Well, more swords than guns, and I really like these swords. But both of these figures are really, really cool. I think Hasbro has a winner on its hand here. The Construct Bots transform on their own. They do not need to be disassembled and reassembled for transformation. And that is a huge, huge benefit that these guys have over Creo. I'm not knocking Creo. Creo has its own place, but I really dig these guys. They are bionicle for transformers and i think these are a success so guys i hope you enjoyed this video review this set is 34.99 out in retail i picked it up at bbts and you can too and this has been bolt matrix and i will catch you guys next time